Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So today is going to be a juicy one. Uh, I'm sure you've seen by the title with the hand jobs. Uh, yeah, so what brought up this video is I have a friend here in San Diego and we were having a honest, just candid conversation. I already got permission to talk about it. So uh, we were having an honest, con candid conversation about how he went to a massage parlor and got a happy ending. And so... I wanted to know if he felt and understood that he was cheating. And um he didn't he didn't he he knew okay so so he he didn't hundred percent say yeah I'm cheating. But what he did do is one of his man moves <laughs> and basically said, I mean, you know, what she don't know won't hurt her. And I, of course I think that that is ridiculous. However, it started me to just do a little bit of research and I'm not even saying I went deep into this, but the few articles that I will share with you momentarily, you will see that this is kind of the mindset of a lot of men. You stay tuned. Okay. Thank you so much for coming back. So yes, hand jobs, getting a release at the massage parlor. Is it considered cheating? I wanted to read to you two um, different situations. I already told you about my friend, but um, this article that I pulled up, uh, what he said is my girlfriend's up the wall about a massage. She's packing her bags, crying on the phone to her mom, swearing blue murder at me. And frankly, I can't make nor tell of it. I like a bit of a rub down. It relaxes me. I got a high stress job. Better not ask. I like to have a bit of a schwitz and a stretch in the gym, a lounge in the hot fog, and then a bit of a deep tissue pummel. There's a good girl at my gym and she always, always finishes me off in the correct manner and time expected manner. And I've never thought anything about it. I mean, who doesn't get a happy ending? It's not even a thing. You throw her a tip and say, later, and you feel great and smoothed out for a high-octane evening. How relaxed are you going to be with a heart on? And who doesn't get a stiffy on the table? It's just another bit of your bod that needs de-stressing. Anyway, the girlfriend. I say the girlfriend, but we've been together for a couple of years and have got a kid, and I think that she's it, give or take. She's overheard me and a couple of my friends having a bit of a banter about hand jobs. And she courted me after and said, do you ever indulge? And I said, no, except for a polish after a massage. And she goes inter fucking galactic on me. You're cheating on me and the kid and you've been doing it all the time. We've been together. I thought you loved me. I feel betrayed and humiliated. What am I going to tell little Taylor? Bloody hell. I never saw this coming. And the thing is, I'm as good as gold. I never play away from home. Well, you actually do. My dad was a dog, and I remember what it put my mom through. Anyway, what could I say? This doesn't mean anything, right? Okay, now that, that's one article. The other article, the other guy. Do you think it's okay for a married man to get happy endings from female massage therapists? I've been going to a licensed CMT who provides a very high quality massage and erotic hand release. Sometimes she will do the hand release first so I can relax during the massage. The orgasm is very intense and it feels like my testicles are empty for hours. It also makes me more excited, which benefits my wife. My, my therapist has very strict boundaries as she does not get nude or provide anything more than a hand release. No harm, no file, right? Although my wife would probably disagree. So all of that in the beginning negates anything. You already know you're doing wrong because he just said my wife would probably disagree. Now, I was actually, I was kind of shocked. Honestly, I have to say I was kind of shocked because I ain't going to lie. After reading these articles and hearing from a friend, I was like, um, let me come home and talk to my boo. Let me see what he, what he got to say about this. And uh, I have to say as a side note for our relationship, he knows <laughs> sometimes because of what I do, um, he kind of gets cut, uh, caught in the crossroads, meaning 
if there's something that I read or I hear about or that I just am oblivious to as far as the men mind comes to because it's just not something that I have to think about because it's not me and I don't have a hanging appendage. So I come home and I test some things out with him. So in this case, I let him know um, what me and my friend was talking about. And I was like, you already know that guys tell me things just because of what I'm doing, blah, 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 that they wouldn't necessarily be comfortable telling other women or even their wives. And he understands that. So that's not even a big issue for us. But what he, what he did, he was like, wait a minute, what? He is like, uh, before I could even ask the question, like, do you think that's cheating or would you indulge or what's going on? You know, whatever. He was like, um, that's cheating. I mean, it even has like, that's a form of sex. <laughs> so I was like, okay, boo, give me a high five. <laughs> so he gave me a high five and I was like, okay, you passed. And I was like, well, it wasn't really no test, but it kind of was. Um, but I was just like, why do some men feel like this is not cheating? Because it definitely is. I mean, yeah, she's, she's, you're not entering her per se, but you kind of are like, <laughs> you kind of are entering her. <laughs> Even though it's not her vagina, she is making the whole form of your penis and she's whatever she's doing, she's going up and down, up and around, she's massaging the testicles and everything. And he one of them even said that he feels like his testicles is empty for hours. I mean, you obviously go in there and get your mind blown just from her centrally touching you. And obviously this is not something that is legal. They're not putting on there that um you know, happy endings at the end or anything like that. But that's a different video. I just want to make sure that I say that this is not legal to do. And uh, one of the guys even mentioned, I mean, who doesn't get a hard on on the table? <clears throat> you know what? That's something I'm not going to even <laughs> comment on, mainly because I'm not a man. With, and I didn't ask that question, whether from my friend or, you know, reading about it they didn't specifically say well you know every time i go to the massage parlor i actually get it hard on but i will say that one of the therapists that was answering the questions really just answered it brilliantly and she says that there are two ethical questions at play here first is it okay for a person in a monogamous committed relationship to have sexual contact outside of that relationship second is it okay for a licensed professional in a healing or therapeutic therapeutic role to have sexual contact with his or her clients the short answer to both is no she also jumps down to say you say that your wife would probably disagree with your no harm no foul take on things so you already know what you're doing is wrong and if you hope that i was going to say different and justify this behavior sorry there is nothing inherently wrong with a married man having sexual contact with another person as long as him and his wife or partner is aware that this stuff is happening and has no issue with it. What's wrong in this situation is the fact that you have made the decision to be monogamous without consulting your wife. And in a healthy relationship, that's a decision that should be made together. Dishonesty, lying, and cheating are rarely, if ever, justifiable and have the potential to cause harm to others. And um, you already heard the, the other the girlfriend and she's saying how he's cheating on her and not only her on the child and everything and I, I really do feel that there is some validity to that if you are a person out there who has happy endings and you are in a relationship and you have not discussed it with your partner yes 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 you are cheating on your partner also would you feel okay and would you get a happy ending if it was from a male especially if you are a heterosexual male would you get a happy ending from a male masseuse if the answer is no then you already know you shouldn't be getting a happy ending from a female masseuse if you have not discussed it with your partner you should not be doing this. And you it, it, just like it said, if you are not discussing it with your partner and they are okay with it, because even though you discussed it with your partner does not mean they're going to be like, yeah, go out there and get it stroked. Get it stroked. Get it stroked. It's okay. It's okay. Get it stroked. Okay, my bad. <laughs> but seriously, to get back this, to the seriousness of this. Yes, you are cheating on your partner. No, you're not entering per se into the masseuse. But maybe you are. Maybe just because that one person is eth ethical doesn't be 
ethical, right? She She's not getting nude. She's not um, um, doing anything like you can penetrate her in her vagina or in her mouth or anus or whatever. She's being ethical per se because she's just doing it to you. You release, you get the massage done and you move on out the room. But she's really not being ethical per se. Because there is no information in the therapist, um, the massage therapist, like contract or whatever it is, their rules and regulations to say you can provide happy endings. <laughs> that is just not true. So she's not really being ethical per se. But I'm curious to know what you guys think. Do you, especially the men, I definitely want to hear from the men, um, especially... If you are able to share this without getting, because I'm not trying to get nobody in trouble, but I would like to hear what you guys have to say. Have you ever gotten a happy ending, especially when you are in a relationship, whether you girlfriend, bro, girlfriend, boyfriend, engaged, uh, married, etc. I would love to hear from you. Do you actually think it was cheating? Have you changed your mind because now I brought it to the forefront of your brain that, oh, dang, this is cheating. Are you going to stop? I just really want to hear from you. And also the ladies want to hear from you as well because I was actually shocked <laughs> reading some of the comments especially when they're just kind of in this nonchalant like I mean it's not really cheating I mean you know what 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 she don't know won't hurt her or whatever the comments are so uh yes 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 the short answer is yes you are cheating on your partner again especially if they do not know if this is your very first time here to I love me 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 definitely go ahead and just hit the subscribe button because here at I love me 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 I'm supplying you guys with all of the tips and tools in order to have happy healthy romantic relationship so we can decrease that divorce rate while simultaneously increasing the marriage rate. I will see you again in the next video. Deuces.